Welcome to our next session in the KNX Dialogues. We'd like to welcome our special guest, Alexander Kostick, who is the sales engineer at Control4 and Snap1. Welcome, Alexander. I understand we're going to be talking today about expanded KNX integration with Control4, how it improves home automation experience as well as increases business opportunity. So thank you for joining us. Thank you, Bob. And uh, I hope we will have a lot of uh, audience to listen to this conversation. You'll have lots of audience and lots of interested audience, I think, because you're offering a sales opportunity and that's what you know people can appreciate. And, and hopefully as a sales engineer, we'll explore some of the technical aspects of that. But first, before we do that, Snap One and Control Four. Tell us a little bit about the company and the brand. So Control Four is a brand which is in charge for the whole home automation. And uh, Control Four as a company has merged with uh, Snap AV in 2019 and formed the new company Snap One. Uh, Snap One is like an umbrella company which has a lot of different brands. And Control 4 as a brand is a flagship brand for the Snap One, as Control 4 is able to integrate all of the products within the Snap One on the same system and to unify the control and the management of the old products which Snap One has to offer. So, Control 4 as a brand is referring to the home automation system, which includes all other products and also can integrate with KNX as well. I think a lot of people have probably heard of Control 4. Actually, they've, they've been there. They have a big stand at ISE every year. And so, you know, probably a lot of people will know that. But it's good to, to explain to them the relationship with the SNAP one. And now, what about how does Control 4 and KNX work together? How does that happen? So Control 4 as home automation system is mainly working over the standard IP network and it communicates with the devices on the local area network using the IP addresses. Beside that, Control 4 uh, beside IP also supports connection using the Zigbee, Z-Wave, it has some serial interfaces ready for connection. But KNX as KNX would require uh, IP routing gateway which is like a bridge between KNX uh, serial bus and the local area network working over the IP addresses. So using the IP routing gateway, it has connection on one, one side using the local area network with IP address, and on the other side, it has output on the KNX uh, serial bus. So this device is in fact uh, uh, enabling communication between Control 4 and uh, all KNX world. Okay, and which sounds like a, a, a major benefit. Uh, as a sales engineer, you know, what else technically do we need to know about how they're working together? You know, uh, the audience has a lot of people here who are technical backgrounds. What else do we need to know? So first of all, it is important to know that when you configure KNX uh, IP routing gateway, you use typically multicast address. That means you, we don't have active connection uh, established between the Control 4 and the KNX routing gateway, but KNX routing gateway listens for the command coming from the Control 4. And at the same time, it is not unidirectional communication. Also KNX sends the command using the multicast address to the uh, Control 4 direct. Uh, so that enables uh, higher reliability of the system because this session is not connection oriented and it also allows multiple connections to be established at the same time. When KNX IP routing gateway is configured in the local area network, uh, all information which are available from the KNX side are able to be implemented into the Control 4. From Control 4 side, you need to add drivers for the KNX devices, like KNX devices are directly attached to the Control 4. When you add the drivers, for example, for dimmers, blinds, uh, KNX color driver, etc., you need to configure those drivers in the Control 4 with group addresses, which are already defined in the KNX. So Control 4 sees those group addresses like they are directly connected to the Control 4, and from the 
the installation point of view, you need to have the full documentation from the ETS, how group addresses are configured, and to set up the same group addresses for KNX drivers within the control form. Okay, it sounds very doable. And so we, we have in KNX a large ecosystem of installers and that, you know, in, in your own words, can you tell us what you see as the, uh, uh, the value of the control for, for the KNX installers to jump in and, and adapt? Well, Contra 4 as home automation system provides integration with practically all of the devices in the smart home, including the KNX. Uh, Contra 4 as Contra 4 is open platform. It's all only up to that, do we have driver for certain device to speak with it, to control it or not? Uh, so we have already database with over two uh, 20,000 different drivers available. And also there are a lot of different drivers uh, ready as a third party drivers developed by the third party companies. So drivers for KNX are already there. And only what you need to do is practically to add it to Contra 4. And that way you can combine beside the Contra 4 part, which is typically used for H HVAC control, uh, lighting, etc., you can easily upgrade your system to include under the same platform also uh, control of audio and video, video surveillance, and whatever you have in your smart home as well. Also, what Contra 4 uh, provides additionally to KNX is uh, nice user interface so easily you can upgrade that uh, visual identity of your project uh, up to the end customer and then customer from control for side can see the single platform to control the whole house on the ip side and also on the knx bus as well i, I have a new advertising slogan for you alexander ready yeah don't let twenty thousand drivers drive you crazy <laughs> you can say like that, but the more the drivers, easier the integration is. Yeah. Okay. Now, do you need to be authorized for Control 4 or how do you become authorized for Control 4? So in order to become the Control 4 installer, you need to pass the certification course, uh, which is done in our training center and the last uh, four days. First step would be, of course, to register to Contour4.com web portal. And after that, you can schedule the uh, free uh, course uh, in our training center. When you pass the exam after the course, you are fully certified Contour4 technician and ready to order any kind of Contour4 equipment from us. Okay, the Control 4 Training Center is where, or do you have multiple centers? So in Europe, we have our official training center in UK at the moment. And uh, also we have training centers from our authorized distributors across the Europe, like in Spain, Italy, etc. But our own is located in the United Kingdom. And if KNX installers are... are interested which again it's a business opportunity it, it sounds very interesting you know how do they join in how do they what is the step they should take to to show their interest so first of all they need to go to website contour4.com and there is like a form which they can fill to leave their uh, contact details something about the company and our sales department will contact them uh, for further instructions how to register for the training Okay. All right. So we're going to let the audience ask you some questions. But before we do, Alexander, I'm going to give you a chance just to, to summarize, you know, what you'd like to say directly to this audience about the expanded KNX integration with Control 4. So generally with Control 4, you have a single platform with advanced user interface to control everything what every smart home today has to have. Not just the part covered by the KNX from the lighting and, uh, and the security point of view, but also upgrade to the user advanced user interface and to include audio video control and everything to be used from a single platform like Contra Forest. Well, that sounds like a very large business opportunity to me. So thank you, Alexander, very much for bringing that to us today. And we'll let the audience answer their questions. Thank you. Of course. Thank you, Bob.